All right, I'm down in the kitchen now, and we're going to continue our Timu haul of our Smart Tech Home products. And remember, if you use this code, which I will link down below, and if you're first time, never have tried Timu before, you can use this link I'm gonna give you, and you will get a $100 coupon bundle off. And it does work, because I did it when I joined up. And this is my personal number code. So if you put that in, then they say I will get $5 credit but I'm not worried about that but anyway here is the info the only thing I want them to know is that you guys saw the stuff that I showed you and you liked it and then you might want to buy it and so that's the only reason I want you to use my little code because then they will know that they did not waste their money giving me the, all of this stuff because I appreciate it so much I never got this much free stuff it's better than Christmas all right the first thing I got this for my husband because he is the master egg cooker. All of the grandchildren love his eggs. He has a magic ingredient and a magic way to do it. But this is gonna help him. Um, could you get me your little pan up there that you usually cook in? The helper boy. All right. And look, you have to have a screw driver, a screw man. All right. You take this screw out and it has a little wing washer. I didn't open this ahead of time because I wanted to see it like you will see it. You have to attach this handle. And I will let this, the wing man here, put this handle on. All right, this is what my husband usually uses. He makes one egg at a time for all of the 13 grandkids. And they're waiting and waiting for their eggs. And then they want another one. So the poor thing is using that. So another thing I got was this hot plate electric cooker, $9.85, free shipping. Now, do you guys realize that I bought a small, just the one burner one at the other store, I'm not supposed to say other places, and it was t over $10. So this one you should buy because you get it for $9. So now think of the uses for this. I mean, I have a stove, a nice new stove over there. Thank you. Okay, here's our pan. And we are actually going to try this, okay. First of all, they're both on. We don't want both on. Now think of the uses. It goes up to a five level. Think of the uses. I can take this in my RV and have double cooking if I don't want to use our propane stove. I can take it camping because most campsites have electrical plug-in. You can put it on the picnic table and plug into the electrical campground and you know, we're not building the fire. We're gonna do this. Electric is safer than propane, isn't it? I think it is. All right. Ooh, it's already hot out of five. I'm gonna try the new pan, okay. I can do this in my bedroom. Listen, I could, we could live in the bedroom upstairs with my refrigerator, my microwave, my toaster oven, and this. Lock the door, we could rent out the rest of the house. We will be rich. I don't know if, I don't, I, I'm scared if it's, I forgot to get a turner. Is this pan, we don't know, is it non-stick or the egg and hamburger frying pan? That's all it says. It doesn't say it's non-stick or anything. I can't tell by looking at it, so we'll just have to try. Okay, with our new little pan. Okay, I put the oil in there just in case. All right. Here's your turner. That's the turner I get. Here. I don't want to throw it because I know I wouldn't make it. You know, I've been practicing for 60 years. I probably started when I was nine. Practicing to make a basket when I hit for the garbage and everything. And guess what? 
I still can't do it. You think practicing all that time. Get a little salt, because you're gonna eat this egg, so you might want salt on it, wingman. Okay, we're gonna salt it. And then, he likes pepper. I don't need pepper on my food. Is that enough? Ooh, it's hot. This is a five. Look at how red hot it is. Can you see? Thanksgiving, when we have all those four burners going, you might need this out here to cook the stuffing or something. If you don't put it, well, I just gave it away. We don't put the stuffing in our turkey. Oh, I think it's way too hot. Okay. All right. It doesn't have a lid though. And it's square, so none of your lids are gonna work. But we don't need it. He never puts a lid on his egg. And hamburgers, they'd be kind of small hamburgers though. Some people like a big old hamburger. If you like a big old hamburger, then cook it outside. Okay, maybe, I guess they can see okay. What else you could put in the four holes cooking? Um, I don't know, individual things. Oh. I'm gonna have to turn it. Okay, I did it. Spill a little, it'll be fine. I didn't wash the stove first. It'll be fine. Okay, the pan, it doesn't appear to be sticking. Oh, he wants this side salt and pepper too. Get a plate for your, I forgot to get a plate for your egg. Oh yeah, look, it's not even sticking. All right. Do you want a do you want it sunny side up or sunny side down or doesn't matter. Cause I don't really know what all those I don't I'm not a very good egg cooker. Okay. There it is. I didn't get it off. That was my fault though, because look, it comes right off. It's not sticking at all. Alright. Are you gonna like it? He is, he's happy. Smiling over there. We're gonna each get two eggs for our toast and stuff. All right, I recommend that, but I really recommend this. I'm gonna put it in my bedroom, can cook dinner up there, never have to come downstairs ever. I have a sponge somewhere to wash it. Do you see it laying around? Oh, thanks. All right. Because I don't want to put this, I don't want it to dry on there and get gross. Now, this is highly flammable. No, highly burnable. Can burn you easily. Caution, hot panel here. Okay, we know that. I'm not that stupid. Okay, we're going to let it cool right here. And now, made the sink. Okay, I've been practicing for years. Here's your egg to eat. Now, the next thing I got is this. I know you guys have probably already had one, but I never did. It's an electric food chopper, $7.02. And it is chargeable, and I already hope it's charged because I charged it and washed it. Now, I'm gonna be making something here. So, it says you put garlic in here. But I need to chop these water chestnuts because I'm gonna demonstrate the next thing. So, let's see. It's perfect. Look. In my cooking. Okay. I never, I've been cooking for years and I never had anything so cute. Workable, I never had one of these. Thank you, Temu. Okay. Has a button right here on top. Oh, this would have been perfect for baby food. It comes in two different sizes, I noticed. There's a, I don't know if this is the bigger one or the littler one. Rechargeable, electric. All right. And it all, oh, that saved, how much time did that save me? I wonder. 
We can put, every, see, and water chestnuts are kind of, you know, hard. So it has the base. This is the little, and it comes with your C cord. And then this, and here's where you charge it. How much should I pay? 702. Oh, that is wonderful. I gotta leave this out to wash it. The directions. Oh, that is a dream come true. All right, the next thing I got for the kitchen. At Christmas time, I enjoy making, I make like banana bread or a fruit cake bread. And I love these silicone pans. And these are little squares. So you can make little tiny loaves and bake it all at once. And it was, how much? I think it was $4.75 or something like that. I'll link it below, don't forget. This is, I can't wait to do this. And then I can make one for individual people. It's gonna be great. Okay, now, the next thing is, I don't know how this works, so I hope I can figure it out. It is called a portable sealing machine, and it's $23.99, so that's kind of a lot of money, right? But I always wanted one, and I can't understand how they possibly could work, but they're supposed to. I've heard good things about them. Oh, great. Where's my directions? Left them over here. All right. Now that's my recipe. Hmm. I left them upstairs. We're gonna have to wing it and figure it out on our own. All right, you take the lid here. They even send you some of these. And then they send you this to recharge it, which I hopefully I charged it. And they send you wide mouth and wide mouth and little ones. And you put this in here. And then if you're gonna use wide mouth, then you take that out and use the wide mouth kind. Okay. I got my jar and you put it on here and you're supposed to kind of, it says vacuum sealer, electric mason jar vacuum sealer. And you push it down. I read that part about it. And then you hold the button. Is it gonna do it? Oh, great. It may be I didn't charge it enough. I don't think I charged it long enough because it's down all the way. Anyway, you do this and it will seal the lid right onto here. Whoops, okay. Yeah, there's only one way you can do it. So you, it's just that, look, see the light's not coming on because I didn't charge it long enough. Darn it, it didn't come charged. Anyway, I can't wait, it's gonna be great to have this because I, my husband's garden and everything we have and I will use this a lot. Let's see on here, uh, I can't read it. It tells, um, all about the air pump, the vacuum low rate and all that stuff. So yeah, it just didn't charge. I'm supposed to click the button and the electric mason jar sealer starts to vacuum. Align the electric mason jar sealer with the mouth of the, I did that, yeah. I just didn't charge it long enough, darn. Anyway, it's gonna be fun to work with. Okay, the next thing I got, and how much did I pay? $23.99. The next thing I got was this dumpling maker. What did I buy? I don't want to lose this. 
I don't want to lose this. All right, this is what I use the water chestnuts for. And I made my mixture. But this isn't really for dumplings, more like I'm making little um, egg rolls. Yummy. So I have that recipe for that. And I got the, you buy your egg roll things. So I'm prepared. And hopefully, look at this. I might have should have opened it ahead of time. Okay. All right. It has pictures. The directions are great. All right. They want you to cut these. These are the molds. I gotta get a knife. Just a minute. I'm getting the knife. My helper left. So. Had to get the knife myself. Okay. All right. So. Wonton wrappers. Well, these are, yeah, wonton wrappers. You can buy bigger ones, I think. I used to make these all the time when I was married to the other husband. I never made him when I was married to this husband. He likes He's, you know, he had a ranch. He likes steak and potatoes. He doesn't care about this stuff. Okay, what do we do? How do we get this open? Because they're supposed to flip the other way. All right, using the dumpling press. I didn't wash it. It'll be fine since I'm not probably going to eat it anyway. Okay, you'd use the dumpling press. You cut this out. Open the unlocking device right here. <gasps> okay, got that. Now we put, oh look, this is wasting. I wonder what you do with that. Okay, you put this here and your other one. Put the dumpling skin on the dumpling maker. Oh look, it says you can make empanadas Chinese dumplings, that's what these are gonna be. And something else, I can't say those words. Gaizo, Oza, or a mini pie. That would be a real small pie. Okay, then I'm sure this is for the, um, the how much stuffing you use. So this is, um, I don't, I think this is way too much stuffing. What does it say? Oh, the dumpling filling. Oh, they give you this little knife to spread it with. We have our own. If that was nice of you to supply a knife. Oh, wait, here. My code. I forgot to show my code. All right. Oh, my code. Stay there, code. Okay. Never point to, you always point away. You you do wrong once and you learn. Okay, with this little knife, add the dumpling filling to the skin. Okay. I added a little too much. Okay. This has cabbage and stuff in my recipe that I got years ago. Okay, there we go. And then you get water, which I was prepared. I got my little bowl of water here. They showed using a paintbrush. We're just gonna use water here like this though, cause with my fingers, cause I don't have a paintbrush. I mean, I have one way over there, but I'm not, I can't, I was a carrot. I'm afraid it will stick out. Okay. Now you do this. Oh, I think it's going to be way too much stuffing in there. You need pie filling. Okay. Now, I'm scared to do it. Add the dumpling filling on the skin. Press down the dumplings. 
will wrap and fall down. Oh, they're gonna fall to the bottom. Okay, make sure it's clean at the bottom. Oh, ah. sorry, it wasn't that hard to push. We're gonna do it again. Uh, they were too full. I knew they would be. We gotta make them a little less. Like one piece of meat, one piece of cabbage. They don't get very much fillings. I think pie filling would be better to try with because you don't have to put very much. You could boil these and just have noodles or something. I might try that. Because these weren't very much, two dollars or something. All right, there we go. Put this there. Now, I need a spoon. I have a lot here. This is gonna make so much. I'm gonna have to make a lot of them. But my recipe, you can either bake them or deep fat fry them. So we might. I'll just. I don't know what I'll do. Okay, just put a little in, because you know, last time that was way too much. We don't want to overfill them, but we want some of everything in there. Okay, now get the water, go around here. And I only have to make 418 for the wedding. I'm gonna have my own business. Okay, here we go. They stayed. That was the right amount. I think you need to pinch it a little together more. Okay, I like this. Okay. These are work. These are gonna work too. I just have to fix them. I wonder if you can run it through again. Let's try that. If you can run it through again to seal it again. Now that it, like, see, it needs to stay in this position. And then, can you see even? All right, yeah, okay. We'll pinch them. And it'll work. This one, we're not gonna waste it. Oh no, I had two fillings on that one. Okay, we're gonna take a piece of filling out. Okay, there we go. And then get the water. Oh, this, you're gonna have to practice so when you get your business going, it, you can manufacture them faster. Okay, there. All right, that was perfect. That did perfect. Did I have too much on these other ones, I wonder? Because I had two layers on that one. These are thin. Okay, we're gonna do one more. I wonder if, I think you should get them wet first, like this. Get the edges wet first. Yes, that's the idea. Because then you will be able to get all of it wet better. You can have an assembly line and have your helper be punching these out while you fill them. And then so now do this, get it all wet around the edges. Yeah, that is a much better idea. Okay, I got you going on it now. You guys are gonna be able to do better than me. Cause you only, ha they're only $4 and something. You can make them all day for the night. Okay, now crunch it. See, go slower, I think. So when they reach the punching part, you leave it like that, and then that's it. See, now they're perfect, almost. Okay. Ow, I can't wait to cook them. I need a platter though. Okay, so this is the, look how much stuffing I have. We're gonna be making, oh, we can make some for the whole family. Okay, now let's go over here. I think this is the last thing. Look at the mess I made. All right, here's the last thing over here we're gonna try. This was 
How much did I pay? $8.46. And I have one, you know, but my, see, my mixer is a, a big one. It, if this lid doesn't come back and it's the professional 600. So I don't know if this is going to work. If it doesn't, I don't know. I'll give it to my daughter because hers is this kind. And then you just turn it here. Let's see if it's the right size. Because you know, if you buy a KitchenAid one, it's going to be a lot more. This is an off market. No, see, it won't fit this one. But it will fit my daughter's. So I got a present for her now. But it does, this part really does work. So now you know it won't fit the big one. So, but I'm not mad. Because like I say, I got a present now for her. Okay, oops, sorry. I hope you um, learned something from this Timu demonstration. Be sure to use the link and the code and I will link everything below. And thank you, Timu, for letting me do this. And uh, you learned something, right, from this whole demonstration. So buy some of it. You'll be happy. I am. <laughs>